Hey guys, so this weekend at Creation Entertainment's Star Trek Chicago Con, I chose to do something that I had never done before, and I became a Klingon. Um, it was actually quite fun. They had a makeup artist uh, named John Paladin, uh, who's done uh, a number of fan projects, as well as he's the guy who's responsible for transforming uh, the actors who need makeup at Creations Cons. Uh, he goes around and does that. So he was doing uh, that for uh, the transformation for um, Congoers. So I decided, well, one of the periphery items that I was contemplating buying was a photo op um, with Susie Plaxon, who plays, uh, among other characters uh, throughout the Star Trek universe, she was Kalar, uh, Worf's uh, mate, the mother of his child. And a uh, short-lived role, um, but I like the character and I love the next gen, so I said, well, maybe I'll get a photo op uh, with her, because she's actually appearing uh, both without makeup and with makeup. So anyway, I was like, well, uh, when it came time to be transformed, I said, you know what, I'm actually going to ditch the photo op uh, with Kalar. Much as I like her, I'm going to try and be a Klingon. So I did that, um, and that was a lot of fun. And as it turns out, so I wanted to just wear it around today because, you know, just get the, the most out of the, the Klingon outfit, um, or the Klingon, um, look, anyway, as, as I should have said. And as it turns out, tonight, Saturday night, was a karaoke party. And, uh, I'm not the world's greatest singer, but I, um, put in for a song, uh, Creep by Radiohead, which is totally my, um, it's my jam right now. It's my jam. Uh, anyway, so when uh, about halfway through karaoke, Susie Plaxon comes out on stage and is like, Hey, everybody! And it turns out it's her birthday as well. Um, it's a crazy circumstance. But she actually watched then and was on stage sort of during everybody's karaoke stuff. And I pretty much like went last, I think. Second to last, actually. Um, but I decided that I would turn my performance of Creep into a slightly strange dedication to dead Kalar, um, you know, as a romantic gesture. So I said, uh, this, she never knew that I existed. So anyway, it was pretty funny. And here is the video without further ado. Um, good times. And uh, also just be aware, I, I don't really hit all the notes. So yeah, but, uh, I would like to dedicate this song to... Klingon ambassador who never knew that I existed. It was a miss. This she shit. died early, I don't know if you were caught that, but, you know, that, that's an excuse. What can I say? You were. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> but she thanks you. When you weren't here before
Beautiful.